Hello, my name is Luisa Mary Turcott Ruggiero and today I'll be discussing how trauma and acupuncture therapy are related and can go together. Trauma comes in many different shapes and sizes. Uh, trauma doesn't discriminate, it'll affect the young, the middle aged, the old, and uh, any gender. If you're human, you can experience trauma at any point in your lifetime. Trauma can be emotional, physical, spiritual. It comes on many different levels. And especially now in 2020, more people are starting to experience trauma because we're living in very stressful times and we're human, you know, we're we're going to we're going to feel about what's going on right now. In my essay, I argue and believe that tra trauma can be helped by acupuncture therapy. Natural medicines are the best way to go. I'm currently a massage therapist and have been working as one for two years now. And in my short period of time that I have been working, Many of my clients tell me that they're experiencing stress, anxiety, problems sleeping, they've lost loved ones, they're having a hard time to cope with that, they're, uh, they're in pain and they don't know why they're in pain, but they don't know that stress and trauma, it, like, it affects the body so much more than we ever realize. Most people are in pain because of stress. It eats away at the body and it does awful things. It's one of the worst things for human beings to go through. That's why I believe with natural medicine, such as acupuncture therapy, it can do so much good for the body. Acupuncture therapy turns on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest. And once this is activated, the client can really relax and be calm. And they're in that mode where they don't have to be stressed and everything is just, it's okay. You know, there's like a weight lifted off the shoulders. I believe that acupuncture therapy is one of the best ways to help and prevent trauma from getting any worse because not because pills such as uh, antidepressants or uh, any kind of like medicine like that doctors will say oh take this you know you'll feel better but humans are not one size uh, fits all, you know, one medication can't help 8 billion people. And what a lot of people don't know when they start taking these antidepressant pills is that there's many side effects that can occur, like <laughs> higher rates of depression, suicidal thoughts, uh, just being down and like unhappy. I personally know people who have taken antidepressants and uh, they were worse on these pills. But the doctor says, you know, keep taking them. You know, you'll feel better. It's an antidepressant. But just because it worked for one person doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody. Somebody that I know who went through this, they eventually, they just stopped it. They're like, they knew it wasn't good for them. And then they started taking natural medicines, you know, herbs, they went for massages, they did acupuncture. And within like weeks, they already started to see lots of improvement, which is why I believe acupuncture therapy really is one of the best ways to help with trauma. Uh, in one of the articles in my essay by Mark Molinoff, he talks about researchers who went to a village where people experienced uh, a 6.0 earthquake and they were devastated, you know, they were traumatized. They lost loved ones, they lost their homes, everything they knew was gone. And after three, only three acupuncture sessions, they already felt great improvement. And the best thing about natural medicine 
is there's no bad side effects. There's no higher risk of suicide. There's no depression, you know? So there's really nothing to lose by trying natural medicines such as acupuncture therapy. So that's why I believe. And if I have any more clients who come see me and they're, they've been through trauma, they're in a really bad place, before going to pills, I will suggest them to try natural medicines such as massage and acupuncture therapy. This is really the best way to help prevent and treat trauma. Thank you.